So in this haircut, we're gonna do a taper with a twist on top. It's been real popular. And uh, we're gonna do like a ball taper. Ball taper, fade it up. He's gonna keep his sideburns. And uh, we're gonna fade it right into the twist on top. So I'm gonna start off with my Andy's Supra ZRs. These are detachable clippers, rotary motor, cut through anything. I like to use these for balding because I, you know, with the trimmers, I don't really want to waste waste the sharpness of the blade. You know, the more often you use them to cut things, the uh, the dull, the faster they'll get dull. So I use my outliner blade or the five zero blade. You can shave somebody's face with these with these blades. It's probably a more comfortable shave than scratching them with the, the trimmers too. You see, that's my initial guideline. And we're gonna lower down the sideburns with the um, Andy's Masters all the way open. And from there, we'll go right into our initial, uh, our second guideline. Going like right above where the where the ear is. Angled, as you can see, I'm I'm angled, not necessarily going straight up. And you can see I'm showing you how I'm, you know, closing and opening my lever. Using a new camera, using the uh, Canon 70D in this video, upgraded from the Nikon D3200. Let me know what you guys think about the quality. And with this texture of hair, you don't have to go, you know, all the way to a three or a four and then clip over comb to blend on the sides. A lot of it is the, you know, using a scooping or a C stroke or just, just freehanding. After a one and a half, you can freehand right into the hair, into the length of the hair on top. You'll see in the back, I use clipper over comb and a little bit of freehand to blend that, uh, the one with the one open into the length of his hair and you can see as I'm opening my my lever as I go up every quarter inch I go a little bit higher in the middle because in the middle it if you do like a straight line across the middle always seems to be a little darker and I think it's because it dips a little bit in the middle for most people, middle of the, the back of their neck. So I always go a little bit higher in the middle so it doesn't look like there's, you know, bulk or darker, darker space in the middle. Number one, open like I was telling you guys. And after this, you can either freehand it into the, um, the length on the top or you clip over comb it. I think here I skipped the number zero guard. I'm just using the corners of the the masters all the way open, and it seems to be doing the job, as you can see. I get a lot of these haircuts, man. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't done a tutorial about this sooner, especially since it's so popular right now. But, I mean, here's the, here's the first one. Yeah, so here's a clip of a comb. And I'm using uh, Kenny Duncan's uh, combs. I forget what brand, what the exact brand is, but if you follow Kenny Duncan, these are the combs that he uses. I'm using a white comb so you can see the black hairs better. And the 
the teeth are super close, it almost makes me dizzy. Staring at that comb, but it works so good at grabbing the hair and, and allowing you to see every hair that goes through it. And I'm using the comb almost like if, if it was a guard. I can tell exactly how much hair I'm cutting off with this comb, as you can see. And it's, and it's blending the hair. Yeah, there's a nicer blend into the, the top of the hair. If you angle the comb as opposed to putting it, you know, straight in, if you angle it a little bit, it won't leave any hard lines and it's almost like, you know, using the corners of your teeth on a guard. Right here I'm doing behind the ear. I always like to taper behind the ear a little bit. So when you line it up behind the ear, there's no hair, you know, hanging over or anything like that. It makes it look like a nicer tapered look. doing the same thing we did on the other side um, of the taper, we're doing it here on this side. So right there, I use a little bit of freehand, clean up any hairs, corners of the teeth. I think haircut is more, you know, if you think of it as sculpting as opposed to, you know, following a system so much, following guidelines and being afraid to go up and all that stuff, just think of it as sculpting to the, the shape of a person's head and what you want that to look like. Tapers there. Now we're using the Andy Slimline LIs. Switched over to my LIs because my pros, the blade broke on the on the pros. These these slim lines break very easily. I will tell you that, man. Andy's, please fix that. Why do they break so often? The blade for no reason. I'll use it, put it on my on my station, go to use it again, and it's missing a tooth. They didn't fall or nothing. The buttons break, but I love them, man. It's a love-hate relationship with me and these slim lines. And you can see right here, you know, the arch isn't perfectly defined. You know, somebody that we recently interviewed in the podcast, Jesus, um, I was at I was at his shop and he was giving advice to one of the barbers who was trying to zero gap his blade. Yeah, why you still got that, man? He's like, you know, I'm trying to get a real sharp cut. He's like, do you use the razor? So yeah, it doesn't make any sense. You ain't gonna get any closer than the, than the blade. So me and him share share that same uh, opinion. It is an opinion, but we share the same opinion. Now we're gonna put the razor on it. You don't get no closer than this. So I pass a, a zero gap trimmer over the same spot, irritate the skin, you do short detailed strokes, and you got a nice crisp lineup. And it saves you time.
All right, so his hairline is uh, challenging, to say the least. You have to make it cosmetic if, if you want to make it straight. And some people don't care if it's straight. They rather have it, you know, natural. But he wants it to look, you know, like he got a haircut. So this will be a cosmetic um, lineup. Right here is the highest point, so I'm leaving that very natural. I'm leaving that as natural as possible. It's the highest point of his hairline. And then everything else, we'll do the best we can to match it without raising it too much. But by using this technique, you're not going to raise any of it too much. I'm constantly making him look straight at me with my body um, directly um, towards him. And that's me checking, using references from the other side, checking, making sure that as I'm lining it up, I don't turn him around and face in the mirror and it looks completely, you know, lopsided. And obviously, you know, if somebody has a challenging hairline, spend a lot of time there. You know, spend time there. It makes them feel like you actually care about how it comes out. And for people with challenging hairlines, if you can, you know, get it right without doing too much damage, you'll have a client for life. Because most barbers ain't going to take the time in that aspect. Doing the same side. Doing the other side. You see, it's not super sharp, but once we put the razor, I think I'll be on point. clean things up you could freehand with trimmers don't get it twisted that trimmers are just for lining people up trimmers are for trimming so you know you can you can freehand with the trimmers too so you'll see that I'll turn that the trimmer around sometimes especially behind the ear and kind of freehand and clean it up get any of the you know loose hairs that are hanging over see I'm using my index fingers to pull the ear down Get, get behind the ear. And you you can use, you know, these are double edge razors and the push cartridge razor handle made by Philomonica. The only, there's, you know, I can use a few different blades. I like the Personas, the Dorco Primes. I like Astras. I don't like Derbies for nothing. Derbies are terrible in my opinion. There's a few other ones I don't like. But Persona, sometimes I, sometimes with Persona, they're a little bit inconsistent. And you'll get packs with like four razors in each sleeve. And they end up being dull because they're packaged too too tight but if you can get a good pack a good hundred pack of the personas they're the best then I would say um, it's close between the Astros and the primes but if persona if you keep slacking with my package and you keep you know putting four blades three blades in one sleeve I'm just gonna stick with Astra or prime facial hair real quick and you know I use the razor on everyone you know, very very rarely you'll have somebody who has like a severe um, you know skin um, sensitivity I've never I've never had any problems with a customer as far as bumping and stuff with razors and I cut I'm, I'm very my, my clientele is very diverse sometimes you'll have 
some clients that'll come in with bumps and stuff and you cater to them you offer them a solution there's all kinds of products out there that you know have solutions for clients with you know sensitive skin even as far as the shaver like this there's, there's shaver foils that are not as close so you don't have to get you know so close and irritate the person's skin you can switch the shaver head to a uh, um, one that doesn't shave so close and that'll prevent bumping for them as well I, I like to spray a little bit of water helps the curls a little bit and then you, you use the, the twist sponge same direction all the way around you don't have to apply a lot of pressure and that's it there it is so uh, like like always man definitely share subscribe smash that like button a billion times and uh keep showing support i really appreciate you guys man and hopefully you guys learn something from this don't forget to check out tune45.com